Greetings. All right, I'm going to say this to y'all. Some of y'all know, and I emphasize, folks, I'm from Savannah State. I'm from Savannah State. And when I was at Savannah State, we had an attitude and had a demeanor about ourselves that we were the best, we were the cream of the crop. And some of us sought to excel all the time. That my professors, when I was at Savannah State, could ask me a question in class, even if I didn't necessarily know it, I was still going to spit some stuff out. I had one professor said to me uh, in an English class, he said, uh, histrionics, what is histrionics? Because we had read something to say histrionics. He said, ask me, what is histrionics? I said, it's the history of phonics. He said, bullshit. But he respected the fact that I went, I went forward with it. I didn't shy away from that. And also, they respected me enough to let me as a freshman, and people what I'm saying, as a freshman, because they saw certain things with regards to me being able to share information in the classroom. That's why I look at some of you all, and I'm going to say, as a freshman, when I came in Savannah State, I was able to not go and throw points out in class, in class with juniors and seniors in the same class at times, that I was able to throw stuff out that they respected. I get stunned when I give you all an assignment to do, and you all, in turn, juniors and seniors, don't do it. And then you act like it's a problem with me when I not come in, and I'm like saying, hey, y'all can't be like this. If you want to be mediocre, that's a problem. That's a problem because Savannah said we can't ill afford to have people who are being mediocre. We have to be the ones that excel higher than anyone else. Other people can do that and they can succeed. You can't do that, the majority of you who are at Savannah State. We cannot do that. That's not our story. That's not how we're supposed to be. So when I give you an assignment and I give you that time, you know on Friday, you don't have on Fridays, you don't have class, so that class time should already be built into your daily schedule. So that way you should use that time to not gain more information. But instead, some of y'all don't do that. Instead, you still wait to the last minute to do assignments and you think I can't look at the stuff and see. That's why I brought about some things on some of the projects that y'all did. I'm sitting there saying, what I was hearing, I was hearing pure, absolute European information. What the Europeans had written, that's why I was, stuff I was hearing, some of the stuff I was like, wow. They had not even explored. As I share with folks, some of y'all know this, I want you to give me something new, something that's great, something fantastic, that I can get it and that I get a charge from it. As I say, I get a mental orgasm from it. I can't even get that from some of y'all because the stuff, the laziness that y'all throw out there and think, guess what? You're trying to figure out why we function the way that we do. It's because we are lazy. We make no effort. There are things that I heard on the presentations that I was like, wow. On the papers, when I ask you questions on the papers, I'm expecting to get new things. Some, I gave nothing, Simon. Folks focus on only one area. And then someone says something about, well, you know, we talk about a lot of black stuff inside here. That's just because where we are right now. We need to talk about who we are. We need to put our stuff out there. But when it comes down to issues, we know that issues are much more expansive. That's why I need you to expand your mind. With me, as I tell folks straight up, this is an intellectual laboratory. An intellectual laboratory. That's what this is. This is for you not to explore because you're going to leave out of here. Juniors and seniors, you're not preparing yourself to leave out of here. We need movers and shakers in this world. Not people who are mediocre. And some of y'all want to get by the being media or can make up excuses all the time for everything, not being diligent about your work. Then now there are some people that I've had in my class, and one person in my class failed my class just last semester. But guess what? That person's back with me right now. That person's like gangbusters. And I'm like, wow, the person said, Jamal, I told you I'm a good student. I just messed up last semester. I got mad respect for them. And I say, you you almost guarantee the A in this class because that's how they function it. Some others, people who know me, you know me. Yes, I looked out for you before. I expect you all to look out for me. That's why I expect you all to excel. But instead, y'all just coasting along. You do it to service to Savannah State. If you know me, I love this school. I love this school. I would not be who I am if it was not for Savannah State. So that means I love my mother. This is my mother right here. This is my mother. So I want anyone who is touching my mother, feeling my mother, being a part of my mother, to be great also. Some of y'all totally miss it. You want to be deceitful, you want to lie, you don't want to be diligent. Then you want to come at me like I'm stupid. I can look at stuff and spot it just like that. If you don't understand this, people around the entire world know who I am. 
and they know one thing about me. They said he got he got information. And what I do, I make connections. I don't tell y'all make the connections like I make the connections, but I want some of y'all to get to that point in your life to be just like me, making connections. Because once I'm gone, it's going to be left up to you all to carry on the legacy. And what I'm looking at right now, my legacy, our legacy of Savannah State will not be carried on. We will lose our institution because of people who are not concerned. You just want to be mediocre. We are exceptional. That's our story. That's who we are. I love my mother because my mother produced other children. I love the children of my mother. That's you. But those of you who can't understand that, won't be a part of that, no problem. But I will not accept any mediocre work anymore.